Welcome to this video on vectors and matrices. To begin with, let's create a 4 by 3 matrix. Let's call it M. Go to Matrices, Tables, Ribbon, and select Insert Matrix. And with the pointer, drag a 4 by 3 matrix. Now populate the matrix and use the Tab key to jump from the one placeholder to the other. For simplicity, I have populated the matrix with integers, but of course, reals could be used with or without units, complex numbers, strings, and even matrices and vectors could be used to populate a matrix to create nested arrays. Let's create a vector V and let it be a three by one column matrix, go to insert matrix and populate it. To extract elements from a matrix, type M and go to vector matrix operators and select index. One comma one for row one, column one. Here you might have expected that the top left element was returned by default the matrix and vector index origin is set to zero. However, this can be changed in the calculation tab. Here, origin is set to zero, set it to one, and now we have the top left element returned. For column vectors, only one index is needed. So V, and let me use the shortcut for index now, left square bracket, one should give the top element. For row vectors, you must use a double index. Matrices can also be created with shortcuts alone. So define M colon equal, then press left square bracket one, and for the next row element, press shift spacebar, two, shift, spacebar, three. To create a new row, press the tab key, four, five, six, tab key, and so on. Let's move to the next example. Here, the plan is to create a matrix, a 20 by 20 matrix using a formula. Let's see what's in the matrix N. N equals, note that only 12 columns are visible the same with the rows. If you want more columns, go to the right and drag. And if you want more rows, go to the bottom and drag. If you click the three dots in the lower right corner, you can browse the matrix by dragging this little square around So here you can move to exactly what you want to show. Finally, you can also import data to a matrix. It could be data in PRN format, in Excel, CSV, and so on. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.